let's start today with retail sales. The sales increased in October after taking a dip in September. So what can you tell us about that? Yeah, Susan, we got a pretty warm reading on retail sales up 0.8%. So the headline number was good, but I'm going to buy that back a little bit uh, because part of that boost came from gasoline service station sales and gas prices were up uh, for the month. And we know that they're going to be down uh, pretty well, pretty strong in November. So we'll see that. Uh, we'll see the opposite effect. We'll see some drag going forward. So core retail sales were actually up only three tenths of a percent. That's not a bad number. It's not a great number, especially when you consider consumer prices up about the same. Uh, generally speaking, though, uh, we're calling this a, a good holiday shopping season. Consumer fundamentals are very good. Uh, we've got a long per longer period of time, number of days between Thanksgiving and Christmas this year. I give people out there a chance to do a little bit more shopping. So I'm expecting to see some pretty good uh, retail sales numbers and, uh, and uh, the consumer spending to continue to be a solid support for the U.S. economy. Well, let's move on to industrial production, slightly weaker than expected for October. And why do you think that was the case? Yeah, the, uh, the Federal Reserve, which uh, gathers that information and, and publishes that, says there was some hurricane effect in, in September and October. But uh, other than that, and manufacturing readings are, are generally good. Uh, auto uh, vehicle assemblies came down a little bit, so a little bit of a drag from there. Uh, not a bad number, just not quite as good as we expected. And generally speaking, manufacturing conditions in the U.S. for most manufacturers are pretty good right now. We also have good numbers for small business optimism. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, tick down slightly, but still well within this range of the last two years uh, with the election of the Trump and the inauguration of the Trump administration. We saw all these various uh, confidence measures coming up, consumer confidence, small business confidence. And the small business confidence in particular has stayed at this high level now for two years. So a little bit of a give back last month, but still very, very high uh, confidence readings amongst small business owners. And Robert, another Fed meeting coming up next month. What are your expectations for that? Yeah, Susan, we expect the Fed to get back on track with its gradualism approach, a 25 basis point increase in the Fed funds rate every other meeting. So that brings December back into play. And right now, the implied uh, probabilities are about 75% or so. So we're, we're expecting that to happen on December 19th. 